All right, welcome back to the channel. Today I have another product from Banggood. This is the Matex GPS and Compass, the M8Q5833 uh, uh, GPS Compass Module from Matex. See what you get in the bag here. Um, so you do get uh, a small length of heat shrink. It's about um, about 10 centimeters, roughly four inches. And you get the GPS unit itself with uh, quite a bit of wire on it. Wire measures roughly uh, about 19 centimeters, uh, about seven and a half inches. And the GPS itself, it's uh, fairly small. It's not as small as the, the, the normal U-Blox M8N because this does have a compass module on it. The uh, GPS measures roughly uh, 20 millimeters by 20 millimeters by about 10 millimeters. It's uh, fairly hefty. Weighs in at 7.15 grams without wire or uh, heat shrink on it. And the difference between this one and the the normal u box ones that I've uh, that I've used in prior videos is this one has a compass, so it does have a direction, and uh, this will tell your flight controller what direction, based on uh, the flux lines of the Earth, uh, what direction you're going, and it also give you your position based off of the GPS. Now, uh, for Beta Flight Rescue Mode, which um, I think a lot of you guys are trying to use. It does not need the compass. Uh, all it needs is a accurate GPS position based off of based off of a certain amount of satellites and relative movement. As you go farther away, the better it is at pointing to home based off where you are. If you only go 50 feet from you, that's not a lot of that's not a lot of movement for Betaflight to triangulate where the direction of home is. So. Um, the compass is not necessary. Now, it, this is a little more sensitive to its positioning on the quad, whereas the U-Blocks one really doesn't matter as long as this is kind of facing up to the sky. This does have to fit uh, with the arrow pointing straight forward. Um, as you can see, it does have kind of a XY. It does have a, a battery to help with hot starts. Um, remember these GPS units after they sit for a couple days, Depending on the quality of that battery, it may take anywhere up to, well, for me, it takes about three minutes just sitting on deck waiting for it to acquire satellites and figure out where the heck it's at. Uh, this also would be really good in a wing if you're going to do some of those advanced INAV features. Anyways, this is a pretty solid little GPS unit. Uh, notice there is a little, a little scratch right there. Don't worry about that. That's something the manufacturer does to tune the antenna is by scratching the surface of it. I'm not exactly sure how that works, but that's what that is for. Anyways, if you're interested in this product, go ahead and uh, click the link down in the description below. If you have any uh, any questions about this, please uh, let me know. And uh, what do you think? Uh, do you think you would go with this on a Betaflight quad? Um, anyways, uh, if you like what I'm doing, uh, like, subscribe, comment down below. If you have any questions, uh, even if it's not related to this, go ahead and ask them. Uh, I try to respond to everybody and I look at every single one of those comments. Uh, I like uh, I like interacting with the people. If you like interacting with me, give me that thumbs up. And and it, and as always <clears throat> and as always guys, keep flying.